Now that summer is in full swing, a familiar pest is popping up across the state. Grasshoppers are thick in many Oklahoma fields, surprising to some producers considering the spring rains, which typically hold down the populations. We've had two or three years now of really dry weather, which uh, um, has allowed grasshopper populations to build every year. And at some point in time, the grasshopper populations get so numerous that uh, the weather processes that we have that can hold them down uh, and encourage diseases to develop and, and some of the things that, that hold grasshopper populations down have just broken down. These grasshoppers get, uh, get so numerous that these low level things that hold them back no longer are very effective. So if you're going to treat them yourself, experts say to get started now. If you're seeing small grasshoppers, uh, now's the time to take care of them. And if you don't get take care of them really soon, uh, you might as well wait till next year and hope Mother Nature helps you out because uh, when they get big, they're capable of traveling, they're take, capable of eating a lot more, and they're virtually impossible to take care of. For a few dollars an acre, producers do have an option. If you have large areas of pasture and rangeland that you uh, have control over, is to use a, a product like Dimelin which uh, you can apply in strips, so you're actually applying at, at about half the rate of normal. It's a very inexpensive product. It lasts on the, on the grass for a while, so as the grasshoppers are feeding, uh, they take some of that product in and it uh, affects their molting process. That's the reason I stress that it's important to take care of them when they're little, because Dimlin will only work on grasshoppers that um, are still in the process of growing up and having to molt several times before they become adults. Once grasshoppers get beyond the molting stage, it will be too late to treat inexpensively.